Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli wa nusallimu ala rasulihi al-kareem wa sahbihi wa adba'al humati al-deen al-qawim subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana innaka anta al-alimu al-hakim Allahumma ja'alna du'atan ilayk wa ila rasulik Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa shafi'ina wa habibina wa maulana muhammad wa barik wa sallam My dear respected brothers and sisters This, the third day of Ramadan I would like to contribute in mentioning a few things about the day of this third day of some of the virtues and the benefits of fasting. Abu Huraira narrates in a hadith concerning the virtues of fasting. Every action of the children of Adam, yani referring to the believers in this case, are multiplied by 10 times more even to 700 times more and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in this hadith that Rasulullah mentions he says illa saum accepting fasting in which he says fa inna huli says fasting is for me and I will increase its reward and I will reward it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator, the sustainer and Allah is the one who provides barakah and blessings for everything for every single creation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for us and Allah is the one who yadzi rewards every action. So not an action is left undone. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he multiplies the rewards by 10 times or even 700 times, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rewards every single deed. And when we speak of deed, we mean good deeds. Because if a person commits an action that is bad, and we call it a bad deed, that person is not going to get a reward, but that person is going to get a punishment for such an action. And therefore, we must know that an action that is a good deed is what is mentioned in this hadith here, that Allah multiplies 10 times or even 700 times. Allah Rabbul Izza, in his infinite mercy, has placed such good actions for us through this example of that of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even mentions to us a smile is a hasana, a good deed. A person can speak to someone in kind words, and that is a good deed. A person can look after themselves in looking after their health and other aspects of their personal character building for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and involvement in the deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases for them in their good actions. How does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our deeds? Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions in the Holy Quran concerning, you know, we say 700 times and la'af and even more than 700 times. It could be an unlimited amount because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is kathiran in terms of numbers. There is no limit to how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give as a reward. As a human being, we are limited with everything. Our food, the amount we can eat for all our life, the amount of drink we can have for all our life, our living, our health, all of it is limited. The wealth that we have, all of it is limited. We think to ourselves that we may have a great amount, but all of it is limited. And when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no limit to Allah's bounties and treasures. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us in the Quran as to how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, يضعف, Allah multiplies our deeds and Allah causes our deeds to grow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, Man hasana, And whoever gives a goodly loan unto Allah, يضعفوا له عضعفا كثيرا. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies and increases that amount in abundance. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows 
that in this ayat of Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he increases the benefit to that amount, there is no end to the abundance of tre the treasures of good deeds, its rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu yudha'afu liman yasha. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase this reward to whomsoever he wills. What is this saying to us, my dear respected brothers, my dear respected sisters? This Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase and multiply the rewards for every good deed that a far is equal to 70 times even more in reward. But this is just only a measure that is given, subhanAllah. So let us take from the treasures of Allah and benefit for the hereafter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that we consider our deeds sincerely for the sake of Allah so that Allah grants that true reward for it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he looks at what is within ourselves, with our ikhlas, our sincerity, and the intentions that we have for doing the good deeds before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he grants us the best of our rewards for 